This is a value onion. And while it may not seem like much, it is the secret to captivating your audience. Well, not this particular onion, but this is my lovely assistant for the day. And yes, we will chop her up good. Many people's communication strategy is to hold their readers' attention hostage. It's a bad strategy, it doesn't work. And you don't need to, as I've already explained in this video up here. If you haven't checked that one yet, go watch it first. But what does this onion have to do with it? Well, the easiest way to keep people listening is to captivate them instead of capturing them. To captivate means to make people stay of their own volition. We do this by, and this may come as a shock to you, providing value to them. What is valuable is determined by relevance. All information has different relevancy at different points in the text. So at each point we need to ask the question, what information is critical at this specific moment? Information that is relevant at the end might not be relevant at the start of the text. So how do we figure out when to say what? Chop chop. The trick is to create an onion of value. Layers of information that we slowly unpack. The value onion is a way of presenting information at different resolutions so that people can peel back the information to the point of detail that they are interested in. We have low resolution right there, then we have normal right there, and we have the highest right there. The first layer is broad. We are looking at it from a distance. It's also the layer with the highest surface area. And it tastes the mildest. And so it will appeal to the most people. Let's check the, let's check the ingredients real quick. Oh, onions. Low resolution doesn't mean low quality or low value by any means. It's probably the hardest part to write actually because we need to condense as much information as we can into the least amount of words possible. So we'll need to be able to write very concise answers to questions. More on that in a minute. The second layer is the detailed overview. It's, uh, it has a lot less surface area, it's a bit more bitter. So it will appeal to less people, but still a lot. If we're gonna lose readers along the way, the later we lose them, the better. I call this front load. It means we pull forward the information that matters most and then work our way downwards to the least important information. It means we need to actually consider what information our audience needs to know at this point in the text. It's an excellent technique. Front loading allows people to come away with the exact information that they are interested in. So whatever point they stop reading the text, they will get a concise answer nonetheless, albeit in a lower resolution. Some people will read on to the middle layer, some will read on to the core, which is most obscure. Front loading is one of the concepts that came up while writing my guide. After publishing one million words, I found seven secrets, seven principles to improve your writing 10 times instantly. You can download this guide at no cost to you at onepenshow.com forward slash secrets. Go get it. I want you to have it. The last layer is the most granular and specific. It also tastes the most bitter. So it will appeal to the least amount of people. It is the sour, tear-inducing heart of the onion. And not many people will enjoy it. It's hard to digest and difficult to swallow. I feel like the Grinch here, eating onions for Christmas. Mmm. So the highest resolution, the core of the message, will be the most difficult the most obscure, it will contain the most specific and granular examples. I have applied the value onion to this specific video. I started with the answer most people will want to know. Then I explained it more thoroughly in a paragraph, let's say, introducing 
front loading as a concept. And now I am providing you with another example, another way to conceptualize it, namely to think of it as your answer in one sentence, in one paragraph, and in one chapter. But in order to do that, we need to be able to answer any question concisely and directly. Luckily, that's easier than you think. This video explains you how. Go check it and it will be very concise. It will answer your question immediately. I will front load the hell out of it.